Hello and what's up, hey everybody? Uh, so, give myself a little more headspace here. Uh, time for another unboxing. Uh, this time it is the Star Wars Smuggler's Bounty Death Star. Um, as with everything, here's kind of the, the info you need to know. Um, Every month, Funko does uh, a series of uh, crates with a theme. Um, they have three services. Uh, Sm Smuggler's Bounty for Star Wars. On the same month schedule, on the same corresponding month as Star Wars, uh, they also do uh, Legion of Collectors, which is their DC one. And on the opposing months, they have... Uh, the Marvel Collector Core. Um, this one's Smuggler's Bounty. The theme for this one, uh, for this month, is Death Star. It is no longer available directly. As you can see, next month's, or not, well, the next one, which will be the November one, that's going to be the next one that's up, is Rogue One. Uh, correspond with a new movie coming out in December. They have already announced, as you can see here, the new. pops that are going to be available in that particular uh, crate. Uh, they are going to be a Jane Erso, which is the lead character from, uh, from the movie, and one of the Death Troopers in an exclusive pose. Both of them are going to be exclusive to the, collecting, to the Smuggler's Bounty. Um, so that's the next one up there. Um, so let's get into it. Uh, as you can see, uh, it's pretty much the standard uh, Smuggler's Bounty box. Uh, you've got uh, logos on the front and the sides. Um, top's got that. The back has uh, the requisite legal details. Uh, the bottom's black with the address label on it. I'm not going to show you that. Um, so. Uh, this month I have actually managed to, to not pay any attention to the spoilers. Uh, one thing that bothers me a little bit is that uh, immediately after the crates are uh, no longer available, Funko posts an official unboxing of them uh, right on their uh, YouTube channel, which you're more than welcome to go check out. Uh, you can, however, avoid that if you don't want to know what's in there. Um, the other nice thing is if you do subscribe to Smuggler's Bounty, you can at any point... Um, go back and, in most cases, be able to get older older crates uh, available to you. Um, uh, for purchase. You do have to be a current subscriber to do that, so you do have to get, so like if you wanted to get the, the, the Death Star one, this one, uh, you would need to subscribe to get the Rogue One, the Rogue one. Uh, one so a little bit of a um, a, a sticky wicket there. Um, but it's something that happens. Um, it is better that it is uh, available after the fact. Um, if there there is one that you happen to be interested in that you've seen from my channel or checking out Funko's YouTube or any of that. This I am rather than getting up and going across the room, getting set so I can turn off the backlighting that I've got at the moment. There we go. That should be a little bit better for you. Forgot to do that before I started things off. So uh, let's crack into this. Uh, to start out with, we get a uh, pin with every one of these crates uh, this month. It being the Death Star is the theme. We have a classic edition Stormtrooper, uh, original trilogy Stormtrooper. We also get a thematically appropriate patch 
Uh, it's an iron-on patch, so you can take and throw it on anything that you are so inclined to. This month's has Darth Vader. Good old Lord Vader. And so now we'll try some things. Uh, first thing that they have is a card detailing what's inside, so I got a nice glimpse of what's in there, and an advert on the back, and then detailing what's in the upcoming months. Uh, detailing what's coming up next month, and then what's in the current one. So I've got a little spoiler sheet here, which I will get to in a bit. Um, so to start out with, we have the shirt. Uh, there is is down for the moment, just so I can get some more space available. Uh, every month, with the uh, with all the Funko crates, there is some form of wearable. Uh, this hat right here is from the Jabba's Palace, um, which a lot some people were annoyed by because um, most of the stuff was really more appropriate to Jabba's skiff. Um, uh, some people I can already guarantee are going to be a little torqued off at some of the stuff in here, but I'm kind of stoked with it. Uh, we have a t-shirt with the Battle of the Death Star, Vader vs. Kenobi uh, from Episode 4, A New Hope. I like it with the uh, Obi-Wan and the Darth Vader. Uh, I dig that. As you can see, I'm wearing my Stark one from my Stark Racing shirt from this Monster Loot Crate. Uh, we then have, and this is, we'll see how cool this is once I get it out. Uh, this is a luggage tag in the shape of the Death Star. Um, classic original Death Star, not the incom not the partially complete uh, one from Jedi. Uh, it's rubber. It's a, kind of a standard rubber. Um, I've got uh, another one. That, so this will actually go on my second piece of luggage that I take when I travel. So that's actually pretty... Uh, and then, you see, unfortunately, that's kind of the end of it, aside from the pops. Uh, so, I got two in here. I'll leave both out. You'll probably catch a glimpse of them as they're coming out of the box. Um, both of these are new molds. One of them is a wholly new character. Uh, first, we'll go with the character that is... Older and uh, is this is just a new mold of. We have Lord Vader on Bespin, and of course, because my lighting is not spectacular, not a whole lot of great viewing on this at the moment. But pull them out so you can see. I know there are some people who consider this sacrilege, but this is kind uh, of my thing. I have all my pots on this. Um, something that, that will bother some people, uh, this is Vader, this is a Bespin Vader, um, so it is intended to mimic uh, Vader during Empire when there was no Death Star, so I mean, some people will, will be annoyed by that, but there's so many versions of Vader that uh, I'd rather have a new version based off of something that's not 100% a theme than somebody who I don't care about. Because um, <clears throat> there have been so many times when there have been pops that I could give a rat's about. Um, Cantina, I'll be honest. Uh, love the Obi-Wan. I've got him on as part of my my, uh, my normal on-display pops. Um, Snaggletooth, I could give a rat's about. Um, He's really one for um, old school kind of uh, obsessive collectors and people who are down for the Hasbro stuff. Um, and then we have this one is a wholly new character to the Funko line. Uh, I'm kind of stoked. He's one of my favorite bad guys. Uh, and I'm sure you can see a little bit of him. Uh, we have Grand Moff Tarkin. Um, probably one of the only guys in the entire Star Wars universe to ever basically get to boss around uh, Darth Vader once he was Darth Vader. Um, back onto his 
base. Uh, like Thrawn, uh, Tarkin has made appearances in the recent uh, Rebels animated series. Uh, uh, Thrawn is, is becoming a part of the new uh, Star Wars canon, thanks to the Rebels series, after having been uh, booted out of canon uh, thanks to the Disney reboot uh, of canon to make things better. People who complain about the, the novels getting kicked out uh, should realize that the only reason why the prequels weren't kicked out of the canon, why episodes 1, 2, and 3 weren't kicked out of canon, <clears throat> is because without 1, 2, and 3, the Clone Wars animated series, which is wonderful, wouldn't have been in there. Uh, so that's it. That's the length and breadth of it. Um, usually I'm pretty happy with these. I This one I'm not as... Thrilled with not because of the contents, I'm, I'm thrilled with the, 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 uh, I like the Vader, I'm, I, I love having Tarkin, um, but I, I don't know, I kind of would like to have a little bit more, uh, personally in these, uh, than a luggage tag, a t-shirt, and two pops, and a pin and a patch. Um, I know I'm gonna get the pin, I know I'm gonna get the patch, um, I know I'm gonna get some form of wearable, um, I actually think that the hat was a little bit more of a, a value, even though it's not something I'm going to wear as often as the t-shirts. Um, but hats are always going to be a little more durable than a t-shirt. Um, luggage tag is great for me because I do travel uh, probably more than I should, but there are plenty of people who are not going to be thrilled with getting a luggage tag because it's going to remind them that they're stuck at work and don't travel anywhere. Um, and they use uh, their Star Wars and... Uh, fun code to, to kind of get their own escape. Um, I hope you've enjoyed. Uh, if you've enjoyed this, please feel free to throw me a follow here on Twitch. If you're watching on YouTube, feel free to subscribe. Um, Twitch, if you want to watch these live, I'm Raven Wisha, just like I am on YouTube over on Twitch. You do if you're watching on Twitch on YouTube, it's Raven Wisha. Um, you can follow me on Twitter at Nuisha. On PSN, I'm Nuisha. I'm occasionally on Xbox Live. It's been a while at the Nuisha Raven. Um, hope you've enjoyed, and hope you have a good evening.